We started the Clinical Data Science Center with the intention of uh, applying machine learning and other data science techniques to the art of medicine. So the intent is to be able to explore the integration of man and machine uh, at this point of clinical care. Uh, taking some of the data historically and using that data to uh, actually create information in the machine so that we can see into the future uh, what's happening with patients before the human has the idea that there are changes taking place. So initial focus of uh, the Clinical Data Science Center will be in diagnostics, and that includes pathology, genomics, genetics, and medical imaging. As we extend beyond that, we're looking at other areas uh, that are also uh, serve a uh, horizontal solution, essentially population health management or precision medicine. We have very heterogeneous data in healthcare. Everything from a physician's note to genomic information, MRI scans, you name it, we deal with a lot of types of data. And so finding ways to take that data and boil meaning out of that is a significant challenge. It requires a high level of computational capability. The importance of machine learning and deep learning for radiology is um, unquestioned. I think the, um, there's enormous amount of opportunity for us to improve the, the efficiency of our work and the accuracy of our work through uh, automation and semi-automation. Perhaps there are patterns that I don't notice, I don't see uh, with my human eyes, but machines can actually pick those out. So that's where I see um, uh, the process helping us on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to increase our efficiency, accuracy, and productiveness in terms of how we practice uh, uh, as a molecular pathologist. So my hope for our Clinical Data Science Center is that advances made through machine learning will improve the health of the populations we serve by uh, reducing variation in how scans are performed, images are interpreted, and data is encoded from their scans. It's hard to imagine a place within healthcare that deep learning won't touch. Uh, I think that uh, watching the way that machine learning and specifically deep learning has already begun to affect healthcare, I think in five to ten years it will be a bit ubiquitous and it will be a critical tool in uh, the physician's toolbox the same way a stethoscope is, the same way that our electronic health record is.